So today I am tracking a song for the producer. I'm doing that around two o'clock. The producer actually sent me the track with the tempo and everything else. And again, this a lot of this is just to like save time so that we can just get straight to it and get it done. And th with this stuff, it's all about just efficiency and just being able to like get stuff done uh, ahead of time so that you can just be really, so you can set yourself up to be really efficient when you actually sit down to actually record. Um, and doing a lot of this like upfront work that's gonna have to be done before you track anyway, and you don't necessarily need to be where you're gonna record, uh, that just saves time. Doing that now. To the, uh, to the church. Hey, sorry to, uh, to interrupt that epic time lapse, but I thought I would just say something that is kind of relevant. Um, so a lot of times when I'm like driving to a location or something, I'll listen to songs that are in like the same same genre or vibe as the, uh, the song that we're gonna gonna track. So I'm doing that now just to kind of get some ideas and to get some uh, inspiration. Driving and doing this is not great. So back to the uh, epic drone stuff. All right, we're at the church to record. Everything's mostly set up, but there's a couple of changes that I think might help the vibe that we're kind of going for. The uh, the first thing that I wanna I wanna do is I wanna switch the hi hats out, just because the ones I have are they're 16 inch, but I have a pair of 17 inch crashes that I think will help like blend with with everything else. Just because mo they're they're adding these drums in after the fact, so I'm. Um, thinking that they're gonna want them to blend really easily and having hi-hats that are a little more sloshy and a little less crispy and, and just because they're 17 they're gonna be a little bit lower in what they like how they sound and everything else I think with all that that'll help the uh, they're gonna blend well with the rest of the mix I think. Another thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that crash symbol out for something that's a little bit bigger, again, to help everything blend together well. You have to get the sound source great first before you do anything else. Charts. One thing that I do do that I don't think I mentioned um, is I use Sharpie to write on the charts and basically what that does is that just helps the what I wrote stick out because if you use a pencil or a pen you can kind of if it's especially if it's yellow paper or if it's far away from you it can really like mess with your brain and you can't really at least I can't really see it very well so I use sharpie for all transcribing Mic number two. So one thing I forgot to mention is this guy is actually, his pickup pattern is a figure eight. The audio come picks up from this side and this side, and I have it positioned so it rejects a lot of the, the drum set and it just, just picks up the room. So that was intentional. And all the reverb you hear on my drums is from this guy in the microphone behind me just blended together, so just to let you know. All right, we are all set up. We're good. Now we're just waiting for the producer and we'll start tracking drums. All right, we, the producer is, is right here, it's Bailey. 
Um, everything's set up and we're gonna add some stuff on the front end of the, the track just to kind of give it more movement and stuff like that. So we're gonna track full drum kit first, get that solid, and then we'll work on like percussion-y stuff. So, full drum kit. All right, we just finished up and I'm packed up. It went good. Uh, we got the song done. We started recording at four and it is 5.46 now. So it took a little over an hour and a half to get everything. It's great. I ended up playing drums for the entire thing, but it's good. I think I'm going home now. So I actually had to get something for Savannah before I go home, so doing that now. I've walked around this Walmart like three times and I still can't find what I'm supposed to get. I am completely hopeless. This is the kids section and it's definitely not in the kids section. Savannah sent me a picture of what I actually need to get, so. Now I know where it is, maybe. I know what it is, I just don't know where it is. I found it. Took 20 minutes, but I found it. I got what I needed. It took 20 minutes to get one item, but that's okay. That Walmart was laid out kind of weird, but now I can go home. Just got home. Also, I went the entire day with a stain on the front of my shirt, so that's great. I'm gonna call the vlog here, so thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.